Hi guys, Stacy Mandelson here, survivor of a high conflict divorce and now divorce coach. Today, I wanna to review with you a model that I recently did with a client. So before we start the actual model that we did, I'm gonna just review the components of a model. The model is really for the purpose of seeing why things happen in our lives, why we are getting the results that we're currently getting in our lives and to help us employ the power we need to change the results in our life. Five components of a model go like this. The first is the circumstance line. And the circumstance is always just a neutral fact. So it's whatever somebody said or what someone did. It has no opinion words in it, no adjectives, no adverbs, just the facts. Next line of the model is the thought that we have about the circumstance. So this is um, the way we view the world, the way we view what just happened. It's our impression of what just happened. It's the story we tell ourselves about the circumstance. Those thoughts generally lead us to have a feeling inside, which is really just a vibration in our body. And for the feeling line of the model, we always employ just one word that accurately describes the vibration that we're having in our body. Those feelings that we have in our body will fuel us to take action. They will fuel us to behave in a certain way. It may fuel action or it may even fuel inaction. And finally, the actions that we take lead to the results that we get in our lives or the effect that the circumstance and the thoughts had on our life. So now let's put this into play. Here's one of the models I recently did with a client. Okay. The circumstance is just neutral. It's the facts of what happened. She said, my ex sent a note on our family wizard that said, stop using a pacifier on our son. The thought that my client had about this circumstance was, he is such a controlling dick. That thought made her feel very hostile. Now, she thought it was the circumstance, the fact that he wrote something to her about a pacifier on our family wizard that was making her feel hostile. But actually, it's her thought about that circumstance that made her feel hostile. So I said, what happened when you were feeling hostile? What did you do next? Well, while feeling hostile, she started fuming inside. So lots of internal brain chatter. And she sent a nasty reply to him on our family wizard. So she engaged. I said, what result did that cause for you? Mm, I don't know, I just feel hostile. But I could see that the result for her was that she herself was acting like a dick to him and even to herself because she was torturing herself with this way that she was talking inside. So. Just a neutral circumstance that happened. Here's all of her control. She could decide exactly what she wants to think about it. So what might be a better way to think about some, a note that you received from your ex that maybe you didn't want to receive? Do you have to feel hostile about it? Do you have to make a bad opinion of it? Could you just think, oh, that's just him being him or no big deal. Yeah, whatever. Then you can feel calm peace, not send a note back on our family wizard or just send an okay back and not have all of that internal chatter inside that makes you feel very unpeaceful inside and also makes you show up for your kids in a very agitated state. And the result is that you are fine too. I hope that helps as an example of how to use the model in your real life. Take care.